Bonjour, bonjour. Okay, so welcome. Um, it's Saturday today. Um, I thought I'd tell you what has happened. Um, I was due to review this box on Wednesday, one before, one day before my operation. Um, excuse me. <coughs> um, of course, being like a total spasmo, this is chicken passe. Of course, I forgot to put it back into my bedroom where it's cool, and all this stuff in this this box got hot, and I mean hot, you know. But as a chicken passe, that's going to be a no. Chicken couscous, that was in the sun, that was very hot. That's going to be a no. Not risking it. And the chocolate bar was absolute liquid, and I mean liquid. So basically, I picked it up and put it in the fridge and laid it down flat. So it's not going to be the same shape as it always is. <laughs> so unfortunately, I made a massive error and forgot to put the box. I mean, this rice pudding's hot, but you need that hot or cold. So you know, it, yeah, don't matter. I can have that cold. But anyway, moving on. Um, just as a stroke of luck, I found this on eBay for fifteen quid. Um, a seller didn't want it. A husband didn't want it, so um, I got this for a hell of a lot less than you buy a, a normal ICR on eBay. So I've got a bargain here. Although at um, the military show, these were ten pounds. I could have got about thirty pounds worth. I could have got three for thirty quid, couldn't I? If I had uh, the extra money. But uh, they, want, they didn't want to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is take the contents out of this put whatever's missing in that box to review on Wednesday all right uh, I have a chicken pate that I bought from the supermarket that will counteract that pate which got hot basically and I'm not going to eat it so I'm not going to risk it um, it's just, you know it's <laughs> food poisoning you know both got hot and both cooled down so twice I might add get it out here for a day but what we're going to do is you know, a quick look at this box I've got to open it up anyway so I just thought I'd share this uh, box which came this morning. It's now lunchtime here in the UK. So we're going to have a look in this. I know what's on the front. I know you guys. I know you guys can't see what's on the front, but we're going to open this up, aren't we? So always, as you always remember, it says opens tear bits there where the arrows are. Of course, as I've got big thumbs, it's probably not going to work that well, but you never know. I'm lucky, there's one. And there's two. Yeah, we got lucky, we did, yeah, cool. And that just uh, pops out. I found it's best to use, if you've got small fingers or a knife, and just encourage it. <laughs> just encourage it out. It normally just pops out, normally. Well, this one didn't, unfortunately, it failed. Oh. Well, anyway, so, <laughs> moving on. This is the contents of this uh, menu four. Uh, we've got uh, chocolate muesli again, which, of course, as you know, I still have a box with chocolate muesli in it. Chocolat. 100 grams. Voyager. Not seen, or, or maybe I've seen it, but forgot. I've not had that one. 2021, so that's basically two years, or three years this year. So this keeps a hell of a long time. Wow. Awesome. He's got all the usual stuff there. <laughs> How much water to put in it? 100 millilitres of water. So there we go. So we've got chocolates, muesli. We'll put over there, slide those out there. They're going in the bin. They are going in the freaking bin. Of course, you've got, um, what's this? Uh, strawberry? Strawberry jam? Yeah. Awesome. Move it over there. Excuse on my. Uh, drink mix, sports drink. From MX3, I didn't know MX3 made drinks. Wow, citron. So that's probably uh, menthol. Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably lemon or something like that. Probably lemon. Probably lemon. Another pack of my favourite biscuits. Of course, you've got the um, salt. I think it's cereal in the middle, maybe. And uh, yeah, the chocolate chip on the end. Country biscuits. I'm not going to do the French, so we all know what they are. I've got the movie box out of the shop. Uh, got your isotonic ISO star cereal bar. Oh. And we got your probably might smell like paint, but I doubt it's brand new. Uh, nougat fruit fruit nougat bar. 
there we go. And of course, 60% chocolate, and like the other one, which is 70%. Isn't that funny? Klaus, Germany. Wow. Klaus. Of course, yet another pack of tissues. I've probably got oh, probably about 10 maybe of these now. Maybe. <laughs> well, whatever. We'll put it over there. Whatever. And uh, yet another heating kit with all the usual contents in it. As you can see, pretty packed in there. Got everything you need in that pack. We all know what's in there, don't we? We all know what's in there. But these are, I've got quite a few of these now as well, I'll tell you. Quite a few Esbit stoves. I could afford to give these out for nothing. I've got that many. All right, put the stoves on top of there. You've got the usual drink pack with the, oh, it's all the old SRD brand. Oh, it's not the new one. Mmm. Yeah, you know, chocolate and tea and probably some fruit drink in there of some description. Got you got eau de fromage. Your uh, fromage fondue. Go with salt biscuits. Awesome. And uh, got a, another energy bar. Wow, cafe. Coffee energy bar. Awesome. Not had that one before. Brilliant. And of course, we've got my postman's favourite, the fruit, um, passe fruit bar, which I think is uh, pear, is that? Peach? Yeah, peach, yeah. I think it's peach. Uh, he loves these. Guys, this really does work. It's like rocket fuel, man. I'm telling you, it is like rocket fuel. You know, he does cycling and all that. Like, he's, he says he can go up a hill easy with that. And you've got, um, where are we? Uh, I'm having a brain fart. I'm having passe, yeah, that's passe. Of course, chicken liver passe, yeah, of course it is. Well, I'm going to keep this cool out of the sun, so, you know, keep it nice and cool this time. I'm not going to leave anything out here. Now, your beef lasagna, never had that before. 300 grams, of course, you have to heat it up. Consume hot, yeah. So you have to heat that one up. Uh, where the hell are we going to put this? Put that there. Oh, and you've got your tuna pepper red salad. Of course, you can have cold. It says consommé froid, I think. Let's have a look. Service. Uh, no, I think you have to heat that up as well. So you can't have that cold. You've got to heat that up. But you could probably have it cold as a salad, maybe. But uh, yeah, it says heat it up. So we've got to heat two meals up there. Right, so that's the contents of menu four then. So what we're going to do is we are going to do for Wednesday, we are going to put the tuna in with that box so we've got something to review. I've got a chicken patty that will go in there nicely from a supermarket. So basically that's the contents returned to that box. So what have we got left over? We'll basically review when I don't know. So, that's what uh, happened. I just had a spasmo moment, left everything in the bloody sun. Like a complete burk. Mm -hmm. And of course, not forgetting soup. Uh, one thing I didn't want to see when I turned this over is that. So basically, we got fish soup. Oh, hell no. Right, guys. Steve, you're going to get this as well, dude. Um... You'll have two packets of fish soup coming to you. I'm going to promise you I'm going to get your box off this week. My buddy Apple Stub Bushcraft stuff and things. Dude, your box is now gone. It's now on its way to the airport, hopefully. Or, or whatever they do. I don't know where the hell they take it. But <laughs> I posted it yesterday or the day before. I can't remember which day it was. I think it was yesterday, maybe. Um, so, box, your UK box is on its way to you, sir. And enjoy the content when you get it. Steve, you're having this, mate. I'm not having that. Goodbye. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> goodbye, good riddance, I don't want fish soup, I'm not having fish soup, I don't intend to have fish soup. So basically I will review whatever you see there, I'll give uh, certain bits away to the postman. And like I said guys and girls, keep these tins, wash them out, they make perfect little bait tins, you can stab holes in that, put worms in, or maggots or whatever, or make a kit of some description, water, storage, food, whatever, you can do quite a lot with those things. But these I'm lobbing out. Unfortunately, I'm not going to try and eat these because basically they're both hot and I'm not going to risk it. So both chicken, both going in the bin, goodbye, your history. 
Um, and that is that, people. I will pack this stuff away now. Go and put it somewhere nice and cool. And um, I'll put the chocolate in the fridge. And um, the pâtés and cheese in the fridge as well. But we will review the box, um, the, I, the, the daily ration box, uh, next Wednesday, just for my operation, all right? So there you've got that to look forward to. We've got this to do at some point, when I don't know. So have a great weekend, guys and girls. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for all the comments and subscriptions. Hit the smash that bell down there and smash the subscription if you're not already. And appreciate it all. Cheers. This to come in future, when I don't know. Depending if I can make it to the table after my operation. If not, it'll, it'll keep till next year, no probs. Right, I'm off. Have a good one.